Hey guys, so today I am talking about my top five powders, setting powders. Um, I have combination oily skin, so I like something that's going to mattify me. However, I do get a little bit dry sometimes around my nose, on my chin, sort of all sorts of places. Um, so I don't like something that's too mattifying or that's going to cling to my dry patches. So these are powders that are going to keep you sort of keep your shine at bay throughout the day. But it's not going to cake you up and make you look like you've got powder on your face. So if you're interested, keep watching. Guys, I'm filming in natural light today. So if the lighting keeps changing and I keep going a funny colour, then that's why. Sorry about that. Okay, the first powder I'm going to talk about is the Laura Mercier Invisible Pressed Setting Powder in the shade Universal. This stuff I recently discovered uh, looks like this. It's just a white setting powder, but it comes off invisible. Um, this stuff is so finely milled. It just looks beautiful. Uh, I set my under eyes with this. It keeps my concealer just perfect, it doesn't crease. It just looks amazing and feels like silk underneath your eyes. So I set my under eyes with this primarily. Um, I also set my T-zone if I'm having an oily day um, with this stuff and it's just incredible. If you use too much of this, um, on camera you might get a little bit of a white cast or a flashback with this um, with this product so just use it sparingly you don't need much anyway but yeah this is amazing you can also get this in a um, loose powder form which is also amazing just a little bit messier um, so yeah this is perfect and perfect for traveling and carrying with you you know during the day and things like that so love that one Next one I'm going to talk about looks really, really grubby. Um, this is the Rimmel Stay Matte in 001 Translucent. This is again just a transparent powder. This is basically if you are on a bit of a budget and this one is kind of off, off the uh, chart for you. This one is the one to go for. It basically does the same thing. I would use this underneath my eyes and to set my T-zone. I absolutely love this stuff. It keeps me as matte as that Laura Mercier one does. Um, doesn't crease and doesn't make me look like I'm wearing loads of powder. So this is a really, really nice one. Um, if you're on a budget, I think it's $3.99. Really, really good value for that powder. Love it. One of my all-time favourites, actually, that one. Next one I'm going to talk about is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in Medium Dark. Um, as you can see, this is very old and um, well loved. Um, I need to get myself a new one. I know they've changed the packaging since I bought this one. Um, but yeah, this is amazing as a just an all over setting powder. Um, adds a tiny little bit of colour and a little bit of coverage, but not so much that it would sort of change your makeup. Um, it just sort of gives a really nice natural glow as well, which I love. It doesn't make you look flat and matte. It's just perfect. Um, and yeah, I can really, really rely on my... <laughs> MSF Natural, so love this and we'll definitely be repurchasing a newer one at some point. Second to last we have the Bourjois Healthy Balance uh, Powder. Looks like this. This one is really, really beautiful. Um, it's basically, <clears throat> I would say it's it's quite a good, um, it's not a dupe, but it's a good, uh, what's the word, alternative. It's a great alternative to the MAC MSF Natural. Um, this one gives slightly more coverage, I would say, and it looks a tiny bit more like you are wearing powder, but not at all, you know, in a horrible way. I really, really love this. Comes in a few different shades. This is the shade 53 Beige Claire, Beige Claire. Love this one. I use it all over. I wouldn't use it to set my under eyes as it has got pigment in it, but um, for the for a face 
setting powder. This one is Perfection and I love it and it's really affordable and it's got a nice big mirror in the um, in the packaging as well, which is really handy. Okay, so the last powder I'm going to talk to you about is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Dim Light. This is... <sighs> This is my favourite thing ever. This just soft focuses your skin and makes you look airbrushed and photoshopped and beautiful and I absolutely love it. It works well as a face powder if you use it lightly. You can use it all over the face. You can use it underneath the eyes if you use it lightly as well. It does come off slightly pink if you use too much of it but it just gives the most beautiful glow and uh, I just love it. You can also use it just on the cheekbones as a little bit of a highlight because it does have slightly reflective particles in it um, but yeah I absolutely love this if you can go and swatch this at your hourglass counter then I really would go and do it but um, yeah they have amazing shades of this I need to go and get more I absolutely love this powder it's slightly pricey as is the Laura Mercier one but um, so so worth it and I just love it so yeah they are my top five favorite setting powders I hope this video is helpful for you guys Okay guys, I'm so sorry my camera just died before I got the chance to say goodbye, but basically, yeah, just subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, and thank you so much for watching, I will see you in my next video, bye!